So the base of a solid is the region between the x-axis and the parabola. The cross-section perpendicular to y-axis are semicircles. We're finding the volume. Okay. If it's a calculator active question, you can always use your calculator to graph. I like to do them by hand because I think I can even do them better than my calculator is. I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so the region is bounded by the x-axis. So this is the x-axis. That is one of my bounds right there. I should have drawn this picture a little better. Okay, so it's bounded by the x-axis. It's also bounded by the parabola 4 minus x squared. So it's a parabola because it's x squared. What is that negative in front of the x squared going to do? Make it down. It's down like a frown. And what's that positive 4 added to that equation going to do? Up 4. So I'm going to go up 4. And then it's a downward parabola. So down 1 over 1, down, th or down 3 over 1. So if you drew your picture correctly, It should intersect right here at negative 2, 0, and at 2, 0. I'm guessing that's going to be important later on. Might not be, but maybe. OK. The cross sections, so we graphed our stuff. The cross sections are perpendicular to the y-axis. OK. So which one of these two axes is our y-axis? This one's the y one, right, the vertical one? So I'm going to be perpendicular to that. So what does that mean? Am I going to cross it or am I going to be, am I going to cross it or am I going to be parallel to it? I'm crossing it, so I need to go across it to draw a semicircle. So I'm going to go across it and have a semicircle and go across it and have a semicircle and across it and have a semicircle. That's what they're going to look like. It's going to be these little semicircle shapes. It's basic. it's going to look, end up looking like a cone cut in half is what the shape's going to end up looking like in the end. Kind of a, a flat ended, uh, Cone. How do you know how far to draw? Oh, those are just helpful ones. They're not anything, really. I can't really draw a perfect picture in 3D, so I'm just trying to draw the best I can. Now come join the party. There's four people. You are now number five. Congrats. <laughs> We're working on Bellwork still. Um, so we drew our picture there. We want to integrate this shape. We're finding the volume, so we're going to integrate this shape. From when did I start making my semicircles? So when did I stop making them? From zero to... Look at my picture. From right z zero to zero. four. So it's different. We'd been going left to right. But this time, since they were perpendicular to the uh, y-axis, we started down here at zero, and we kept drawing them all the way till we got to the very top at four. So now we're going this way. Why? Because they're horizontal lines. Before, we'd been drawing vertical lines, like this across your picture. Okay, because they were perpendicular to the x-axis. But this problem asks us to be perpendicular to the y-axis. So since you're perpendicular to the y-axis, we're stacking them this way. So think about a deck of cards. I'm stacking them from the bottom, and I'm going to keep stacking them until all the way they get to the top. Okay, so I'm going from 0 to 4 now. Those 0 and 4s for us are those x values or y values. They're y values. So this is a dy problem. So since it's dy... I want the equations that I plug in here to have y's in them. I want them to be x equals some y equation. So for this problem right now, we might as well right now make it a y problem. So 4 minus x squared. y equals 4 minus x squared. I need to solve for x. In order to put that into this equation where I integrated the y's, I need that to be in terms of x. So subtract 4. Yeah, change, let's change the signs and then square root it. So it's going to be the square root of negative y plus 4 equals x. And what else do I need with that? Plus or minus. Because one of them gives me the top half, the teapot there, and then the other one does me the other side. Okay, so that's the equation. Okay, a little bit harder because we had to do that. That's what we're adding today. Okay, so let's think of this. We want to find the area of my shapes. So in this case, I need to find the area of a semicircle. So what's the equation of the area 
of a semi. What's the equation of an area of a circle? Uh, pi, pi r squared. Pi r squared. So what am I going to do differently? If that's the area of a circle, what am I going to do differently if I'm doing area of a semicircle? Yeah, divide by 2. Multiply by a half. Okay? So there's my formula. 1 half pi r squared. Okay? Cool? So what do I need to know out of that equation in order to do it? I need to know the r. Good. I need to know what the r is. So I need to find out my radius. So how did I make the radius of my circle? Well, I went from across this way, right? So I went from which curve do I start with to which curve did I end with? The, yeah, I went from this curve to that curve, right? We always go from right to left. So we're going to start off with this one, which is positive square root of y plus 4, negative y plus 4. That's this curve. And then what am I going to do with that? Subtract it. Subtract what? Negative square root of negative y plus 4. It's going to be positive. I've got minus and negative, so it's positive. So I've got one negative square root of y plus 4 plus another one. So how many do I have? Two. Okay. That's not right. That is not what my radius is. What do I need to do? What did I do wrong if I'm talking about radius of that one? That's not quite it. What did we just find? I f yeah, I found the whole thing. That's the diameter, right? We went from this side to this side. So what do I need to do with what I got right there to give me just the radius? cut it in half. So it's really times a half. Those two things cancel. Okay, so my first period class, the kid said, oh, why not just originally start at this line and go to the middle? Because you really just need the radius. You can do that, but don't let that bother you. I think it's easier to think of it that way. Okay, so this is what my radius is. The radius of this equation is that. So when I have the area of this problem, it's going to be 1 half pi r squared. So I want to take my radius and square it. What happens when I take a square root and I square it? It cancels each other out. So it's just going to be negative y plus 4. That's my area equation. That's what I'm going to plug in here. Notice again that it has a y in it because I'm taking the derivative with respect to y. That's the equation that I need to type into. Okay, so calculator, math 9, I'm going from 0 to 4, 1 half, pi, parentheses, negative y, in this case, x, plus 4, dx. My final answer is 12.566. Okay, a little bit different, again, since we were perpendicular to the y-axis. That's why we had the y-values. We were stacking them vertically instead of horizontally.